Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Okami. In this episode we're going to be going through Suta ruins and hopefully finding an exit. Alright. Two at once. This can prove to be a little difficult because they are pretty agile. They can move around a lot. Because they're kind of tanky and a little slow, at their movements. Alright. Blue you. Try and kill him. A demon fang for that. Come on, keep up the combo. Ugh, crap. Oh well, can't win them all. That nice weird mushroom looking things appear. And what else makes mushrooms grow? Why the sun, of course. It makes absolutely no diggly dangly sense, but poof. There is that um clover in the distance showing us that we can I don't think that's gonna work. Nope. If we cut all this grass, you can get a bunch of uh, stuff, like grapes. You see fruit pluck, pluck from a vine. You can fill your astro pouch a little bit if you get stuff from there. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I think you actually have to jump to that part. From the mushroom to actually get that. Oops. Fell down. All right. Kinda looks like there's another path into there, so maybe we have to go somewhere else first. I don't know, we'll come back for it. I don't know why I always think there's a wall there. Army, hold on a sec. My nose is feel all itchy since those huge mushrooms back there. Uh, uh, achoo! Dang it! Your nose is too strong, he soon. Run as fast as you can, because if you fall, you have to do the entire thing over again and climb all the way back up here. That's not fun. We're also going to want to leap. All the way down here. Because of this guy. Now this guy can be both really... Uh... This, pl this particular enemy has stopped a lot of people from getting 100% later down the line in the game. And you're about to find out why. I'm Blockhead, I guard this place so that all shall pass. So wait, make that none shall pass. 
You really think you can penetrate my artifact-type defense? Impossible. Nothing can harm this body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. Being below light there would slay me in an instant. But I wouldn't be foolish enough to expose such a weakness. Now be on your way. None shall pass. Tackle him. You have two randomly generated points of contact. And I just missed them both. You feel my wrath. Memorization of the last thing that it showed is really hard. To get them exactly on point, sometimes it's really hard and really picky. Huh? Are my points so obvious? I failed, but let it be known I died a warrior's death. This area is purified. And now we have a way to actually get up there. And a key. With this, we can go all the way up here now. We can also cut these things down on the way. Get some more yin. It's kind of easy to fall, so be very careful of that. You'll notice one is kind of off in color. You're gonna want to power bomb here, or cherry bomb here. Inside is a bud containing a stray bead. It's one of the more easier stray beads for these uh, dungeons. And now we can go up here. And, or not. Alright. I should be able to make it through now. Never mind. Well, I'll meet you guys back up there. Alright, I made it up here. Now... That the door demon's been vanquished. We can continue on. You can also slice these things if you want some more astral pouch food. Exorcism split S. Ginseng. Oof, bursting with nutrients. We fight this, though. A blue demon scroll in a place like this is basically a demon gate. Or similar to one anyway. There we go. It should be the last one. Oh, alright. Let's use a good old rejuvenation. 
Make a bridge. Save is convenient. <laughs> there are three demon gates to take care of. We're gonna start this way. Take care of these guys first. The ever easy to kill green imp or red imp. Globe L restores three solar units. Owls are probably the best for. Well, not probably the best, they are the best, but. Another micro wire set and a holy bone S. Another one? This one's significantly easier. Okay, that was weird. That's also weird. Not sure why that happened either. Okay. Got some good time. Got one more. Thankfully, with the Rosary, we can actually hit airborne enemies now. Which also knocks them out of the air. You can keep your combo going, you can keep stunning enemies. This is a good way to get their um, floor finishers done. Is this the last one? Yep. The last one. And now... Mushrooms appear, waiting for the light of the sun to rejuvenate them again. Another ink pot. And then I'm probably going to... I think the next level up is probably going to be my health, considering my health is kind of low. Okay, where's the sun? There it is. I'm sure they mean that, you know, the sun nurtures plant life, so therefore that's why that works, but...
Now that looks like something out of Ninja Turtles. Poisonous group monsters. If you break all these pots... Tutaruins is now... restored. Looks like that poison that was polluting this water is completely cleared up. It looks like a great place for a swim. There's even a waterfall. I bet it'd be loads of fun to go straight down it. Oh, what am I meant was a playful dog like Ume might do that. I haven't forgot about what we're looking for, have you? And of course, uh, I haven't given up on looking at hunting down some treasure either. There we go. Tsutaru ruins map. You always get the map when you don't need it, but if you do jump off one of these, um, well, this one in particular, you'll notice that there's a pot here, a hole behind the waterfall. It doesn't tell you, but you can blow this up. There is a button here. And meet the other stray bead. It's really great if you're using um, lily pads because then you won't drown. There's another waterfall. I'm gonna need to go down it. Oh, that was weird. I glitched through the lily pad there. Good thing that counted. Generally the best travel for lily pads is jump dash and then lily pad, jump dash, lily pad, jump dash, lily pad, and you can cross per pretty much any body of water with that technique, but... It also conserves uh, ink. So if you don't have any ink left, you have to wait for it to regenerate, and that... The time that it takes for your ink to regenerate is about not, about as much time as it takes to drown, so bear thee that in mind. Got some weird skulls over here. There we go. Some more beautiful restoration. Another constellation. Hey look! That light! There's a constellation here, too!
Bam and... Kablam. Didn't work. Also didn't work. Yes, game, I get the picture. The game is now making... It's making me, uh, pay for all those instances where I failed. <laughs> ah, Amaterasu, the origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I, Sutagami, the last in the triumphant Hanagami Flora Gods, have humbly awaited your glorious return for a hundred years. May the fresh spring growth bloom from your snow-white form. Bring new life to the land that suffers under evil. Sudagami, the third and final god of the flora. He's a god that can make vines do his bidding. One folktale tells how Sutagami used that power to tie vines to his body so that he could fly through the air. Hey, that's Konohana Blossom. Flower of the gods right over there. Try making a vine sprout out for out of it. Perfect. Wow, it sure is handy to have a god around. You can draw out vines whenever Konohana Blossoms is open. Look around and see if any others are blooming. Ones that are open like this will catch you, but one you will eventually have ones that um, will drop you. So just be aware of that. You can also repeatedly vine catch yourself in midair. You basically fly like he soon said. Keeping in mind it's a little hard to do. Alright. There we go. the head now. We go all the way up until we cannot go up any further. There is more Konohana Blossoms. And eventually... Oh, there we are. I mean, like, why can't I see it? And there's one that's gonna drop us. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to look at this pot. And you're gonna want to hook that one, hook this one, not me. Grab it from there. Okay, somehow I was able to. 
And this one. And this one. You can do that in whichever order you want, but I think that one looks the best. And in here we have... we're being watched. Kinda creepy. You break all these, you get a lot of money, and every time you go into this room... These and these dolls will constantly respawn, so you can just leave, come back, leave, come back, leave, come back if you really need some money. And you don't like fighting enemies to get it. But, I think we're gonna end this episode off here. In the next episode, we'll be continuing on. See you guys then.